similar to what we have on the online system so that you can have two windows open uh, if you so choose as well. So I can pull that out. I can't really snap it back in place like we can with the online with an online system. So if I take this window right here, I can't really pull it out, right? I can't really pull it off like I can if it was an online system. I'm trying to left click on it and drag it out. But when I open a new tab, I can open it to a new window. So that's pretty uh, nice. It's pretty similar. Now you also have this toggle thing over here. So if I go back to like the dashboard, notice up top, you've got this desktop view toggle. So if I want to turn on the desktop view, I go boom. And then, then it gives me this flow chart. This is basically the same flow chart as this one here, which is actually on their desktop version of the software. So, so, and, and again, I think this, this flowchart is really nice, right? I, and, and the fact that they haven't standardized a flowchart like this in the online system, which I would think would be the most common thing to put in the desktop or, or, or your, your home page area just seems odd to me because it just seems like a, just a logical thing, a logical way to first look and organize and teach new users how to use the system. So now you got the vendor cycle, the customer cycle, the employee cycle. I'm still not totally confident. I'm probably still going to jump over to this one when I talk about it because, because I think they'll probably change these icons because I don't think they can resist uh, to do that in an online web-based system with the, with the developers and whatnot. But I, 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 think there, I think that's a nice thing to do. I, this is just the logical first page that you would take a look at that would be on the dashboard. But also note in the desktop, they changed the, the left-hand side to mirror what you might have been used to when using the desktop view. So this is something that's a little bit kind of strange because if you stop using the desktop view and you're in the online uh, system, now they basically have three kind of, kind of tab names over here because if I go into the online now, I could, I could say, okay, well, here's the normal view. Here's the accountant view. And then if I select the drop down, I can switch to the business view, which is basically the same now because they stopped doing their, their other business view, which was quite different before, but it's still a little bit different. They haven't completely gotten rid of the business view yet. I think they're going to, they're going to consolidate those two. But if I go back on over to the accountant view, but then over here, this isn't the accountant view or the business view. They're using terminology that, that was used on the old desktop system, which means if I toggle back on over, uh, this is what we're used to in this course for the online. It looks like this dashboard transactions, sales instead of customers, expenses instead of vendors, uh, reports and payroll instead of employees projects and so on if i switch to the desktop view it's actually uh, i i think it actually makes more 